Hello, Saya. I am Sarah Simoff, the emissary of the rebel factions, and I'm here to help you. You need to hurry up and get out of here. Some idling robots should be lying around in this room. Go ahead and take control of three of them. All right. Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Robothorium. This game is by Goblins Studio and published by Goblins Studio and Whisper Games. It's currently in early access on Steam for 10% off at $13.49 US normally, $14.99. You can also grab the soundtrack uh, for $9.99. It's actually uh, rather good. And as a note, I received a key for this game from the developer, so always bear that in mind as I go through and... Uh, uh, get my thoughts on everything. But, uh, yeah, I think we're playing, if I'm not mistaken, patch 070, which is the latest and greatest. So, uh, I played a little bit of this prior to its release on, uh, on, uh, Steam Early Access. So I'm sort of kind of familiar with the first couple of areas here. Uh, we'll see if I, if that actually helps me or not. But we need to select three uh, robots here. We are beginning the uh we are the the great grand central intelligence central intelligence artificial intelligence central artificial intelligence there we go um that is uh trying to gather the robots together and uh possibly uh fight for the robot rights to the party and all those things so i'm going to select uh riot x398 because that's pretty good uh defensive uh character also really a Really, just a tank, basically. Um, can actually use it as a tank. Uh, War X770 is another one I'm gonna, pay, I'm gonna take. And then repair bot and stuff weren't really interesting me too much. We got War X380 here, um, which has more power and the 770 has more resistance and more critical strike. But War 770 is also prideful personality, and this one is fatalistic, so I'm not sure. I haven't quite figured out how the personalities come into play yet, but uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see that. Um, I think I'm going to take Zerker, though, because uh, he's got shield and power as well, and that will sort of balance out the team. These are also the ones I picked already, so I'm kind of familiar with how to, how to use them. Kind of. You are currently located in a break tech lab. Take some time, look around. Scanning your surroundings should be an easy task for an artificial intelligence as advanced as you. All right, WISD to move around, but you move around, it's node-based, so you actually move from one from one uh, room to the next. And uh, there's goals and a mini-map and all those things. We'll, we'll explain those as we go along. They got the mini-map down here to let you know what's going on. There's also a larger map, uh, which they give you a nice legend here. You can see what's going on. And there's various things that we'll encounter along the way, both enemies and also things that help us, like reveal more of the map or reveal some extra goodies that we can pick up and all those things. So we're going to just move up since it's the only place we got. Uh, interactive elements. You can interact with elements through actions and it gives you your percentage chance of succeeding. This one's 75% for us. Also, the other thing to note is that there is a danger level. So much like... Um, say invis invisible ink uh as your more time you spend in an area the more encounters you have the more likely your danger level is going to go up uh there are think events that will lower it as well i believe and there are events that will also make it raise even faster so as that goes up the enemies you encounter are uh i think more numerous and also uh deadlier basically so open the storage case this first area is, is a good uh, tutorial, it's a good introduction, so there's not really, I'm not expecting us to run into any really difficult things here. Uh, we got some equipment though, and here's all where you change all their equipment. We have got a Brake Tech Cannon, which has 72 power, and but it reduces our um, initiative, our turn initiative, by 9. You can see Riot has like 80 now. Of course, that's that initiative is you know the order in which it's it's turn-based combat, so that determines the order in which your um, mechs uh, will fight. 
and all those things. Uh, but this guy can't wear it, and that guy can't wear it, so only this guy can, and it's... If I hold down... Now, the one thing I would say here, there's a little bit of room here where they could automatically show the compare. Just to compare it with your nor with your regular Canon, you have to hold down Shift uh, in order to see it, and... I don't know, I, I feel like... I feel like they could maybe... There's a little bit of space there between the, the Canon and the... And the the effects underneath that, that your character is in. So I feel like they could maybe rework this a little bit to automatically have a um, comparison. Uh, they could even do it as, like a lot of games do it as a tooltip when you roll over it. Uh, I feel like making people hold shift is kind of, it's weird in this day and age because everybody is going to want to compare it to see if it's better or worse. Uh, either that or just integrate it with the numbers and say, you know, this, because I also see the numbers. I see the green 72 and the red 9. And, I, and when I first looked at this, I thought, well, does that mean it's better than the weapon I have on or worse than the weapon I have on? But no, these the, the color on those doesn't seem to... It seems like only positive numbers are green and negative numbers are red. I, I don't think there's any other correlation with the colors there. So could introduce it into there you can have an up up down arrow i mean there's numerous ways of doing it i feel like integrating that would be a good quality of life change uh here but anyway you can double click to put that weapon on you can see we're down to uh 71 now when you roll over it tells you that you have a minus nine on you uh it doesn't tell you what is giving you a minus nine just something is your baseline is 80. So, you see my baseline is 60, and there's something giving me plus 72, which actually is a weapon giving me that. So, as you get more gadgets and stuff, though, this becomes a little more confusing um, as to what's actually affecting you versus what's not. But, yeah, whatever. It's, it's good enough as it is here, as far as that's concerned, I think. Alright, moving forward. Rooms unveiling. Some actions allow you to unveil unexplored rooms and to get special bonuses. So this is what I was talking about earlier, where you can have the opportunity to hack security cameras, you can hack into um, computer systems and all that stuff. And so hacking that, hacking that uh, camera has revealed more of the minimap for us so we can see what's coming up. Manage to discover some new rooms by hacking their security system. You'll earn special bonuses if they contain anything important. Okay, so we got uh, a element in this particular room. Success chance of all actions in the room is plus 10%. And then we've got rooms that have not been revealed. And then we also know that there's going to be an enemy um, over here. And we got, because we unveiled them early. Um, so this is what this is what, it, what they were saying about there's unveiling bonuses. Because I found this security camera and I hacked it and I see these rooms coming up ahead of time, I now have bonuses. I now have basically planned for stuff. So I know the element, whatever element is in this one room here, I, the success chance of succeeding at whatever it is, like a, opening a chest or whatever, uh, has increased by 10% because I know about it ahead of time. And these enemies here, since I know about them ahead of time, their turn order speed, you know, their um, initiative has been reduced by 50, so I'll have a more likely chance that my guys will get all the first shots in on them. So each each round. So trying to explain that a little bit. So I think let's go to the right first. Reformat digital tablet, 80%. Alright, do it. And that gave us a little bit of experience. Cool percent boost in our experience. A drone? Saya, it's your time to shine, but remember to always ponder the consequences of your choices. You'll only be judged for your deeds. Alright, so based on what we do here, we could destroy the drone and that might uh, anger one of... There's, there's several robot factions. We'll get into this a little bit, but that might anger some of the other factions and stuff. This really determines like your... Um, various outcomes in the overarching story. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, pack it, I think. If we succeed, we failed. 
80% chance and we failed. And because, because we failed, our danger level went up by 15. So that, uh, once we get to 30 on the danger level, our success chances are lowered. When we get to 65, our enemy speed and power is enhanced. When we get to 100, we get a maximum danger level and all kinds of nonsense starts happening. So, um, yeah, that was, that was not, not good on me. And there was nothing in this particular room. Now we got our first battle. Zaya, neutralize these riflemen if you want to get out of here. Okay, fights are turn-based. Select the fighter to see his details. And then there's little icons here. It says this is a single target. There's a line. And there's all fighters in a group. Um, most skills generate overload. The basic attack of each robot reduces overload. When a fighter reaches 100% overload, he is stunned and stays un unprotected for one turn. So that's the mechanic you sort of have to balance, is that all of your fighters have overload mechanics. Now, they're being a little bit inaccurate by saying the default action doesn't generate any overload. For most robots, that's true. Later on, we pick up a robot that uh, basically every action that robot takes generates overload. So you have to sort of balance that out. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure if there's a way to not take a turn, but if there is, I haven't figured out what it is, but th that's something to balance. Now, another thing is, you see the, the surprised faces on these guys? I like that they used emoticons for this. Uh, they are all surprised by us, so their speed is reduced by 50. So that's why, why you're seeing that. So now, as you say, we got our our guy up here. Here's the turn order up the top. Our guys first. Our guy Zerker. And here's our things here. We got a rifle shot, which is only against one unit, and that gives us that reduces our overload by 30%. Um, plasmic wave deals 107 damage to one enemy and gives us 20% overload. Uh, Hail of bullets does 11 damage to all the enemies in a group and uh, 11 additional damage for each enemy slower than the launcher. That's a uh, 40% overload it gives us. And then there's loaded shots, which gives us 20% overload and deals 136 damage to an enemy, which applies weak spot, which lasts for three turns and makes a critical hit increase chance of critical hit, scoring a critical hit against whoever has a weak spot. We're gonna do that and we're gonna do it against this guy here. Now you see also, there's bars above their head. The blue is their shield. The red is their health. So you can see that graphically. All right. Now, this uh, yellow dude here has got something interesting. He's got Proton Shot, which uh, deals 57 damage to an enemy and then bounces to two random enemies. We're going to use that over here. Take this guy's health down pretty good. And damage the shield to the other guys a little bit. All right, and then this is my tank boy, and he's got things that will actually stun an entire enemy line, like this one. He's got intervention. This one is a really interesting one. It uh, basically you can put protection on one of your guys if one of your guys is getting particularly targeted by the enemy. You put protection on them, and whenever they take damage, this guy instead takes the damage rather than the one that who's protected. Um, and then you can also provoke them to, to make the out, which makes whatever enemy you provoke only attack you for that next turn. Um, but I'm going to go with the shockwave and try to stun these guys. I stun the one guy. That's that's a thing. Yeah, all right. Let us do a plasmic wave and see if it uh, bounces on the one random enemy or not. Do it against this guy. Oh, and it did. Excellent. All right, we'll do uh, electric shock or energetic zeal. Um, let's do electric shock on that guy. Okay, we got him a short circuit, which does can't use skills generating overload, so he can only do his basic attack then on us. And let's put Protect it on this guy. They seem to be targeting him a little bit. Oh, and there he goes. And now we'll do... Loaded Shot on that guy. Try to weaken him a bit. And we'll do 
Flip time shut. Just bounce around. Now you see the yellow bar indicates how much uh, overload we have. I'm getting pretty high on the overload, so I need to make sure I use the the baseline shots here to try to reduce that a little bit. And these guys are actually pretty low on health anyway, so... That said, though, I think this is only going to generate 30%, and this guy's at 50, so we have some room here. There we go. That was close. Good job, Saya. All right, and we got all the XPs here, 150 XPs, so we're all well into level one. And we got a flashbang, which can be used at the workshop, and Omega Calibrate Pause, which is a bottom component. We will have to equip. Go under equipment here, and who takes the pause? I think it's, uh, oh, this guy does, okay. So that's uh, three uh, protection and two additional health, I think it gives. So there we go. We'll, get, we'll be getting a lot of these. We'll be swapping a lot of things in and out. And then as, we, as our XP goes up, and you can also rename everything too, but as your XP goes up uh, and your levels go up, we start to get talents and we can start to unlock things with talents. We can also, um, even without that, we can start unlocking things over here, like additional um, additional uh, skills with the money that we are collecting, the 74 whatevers. Um, we can get different ammo and different skills and then swap them in and out if you don't like the base skills. So all that stuff. I didn't do too much with that because it's pretty uh, uh, in-depth for 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 me, for my purposes, and so far everything's been working well. The robots have triggered a trap. It's becoming too dangerous to stay here any longer. Alright, my guy overloaded. So it added 45 overload to everybody. So, that's a thing. Uh, let's go up. And air vent, and air vent, intoxicate, and storage crate is seventy percent. Let's do the storage crate. See what we get. Uh, we got danger level plus fifteen. Success chance starts to lower. Um, right. So opening that chest. Oh, we failed to open the chest. That's what happened. Wow, eighty percent chance. I'm failing a lot of eighty percent chance things. That's very, very strange. Try intoxicates. Enemies affected by corrosion. Awesome. But it did something anyway. Let's go down to this other thing here. Up, oh, and we got some enemies. They are all affected by corrosion, which is good. That takes damage equivalent to 10% of maximum shield and structure combined per turn. Okay. Well, that's good. But unfortunately, all my guys are. Well, except for this guy. This guy is still overloaded, so he's losing his turn here, I think. But all these other guys are getting close, so I can't do any special moves right now. So instead, I'm going to do the baseline one, which will reduce my overload. I mean, I could do special moves, but I'm going to end up overloading them for a turn. Losing a turn on it. Okay, we're all taking damage, which is good, at least for a couple more turns. So let's do, yeah, my overload is still pretty high here. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Awesome. And let's take this guy out so he stops healing people up. Healing shields up, that is. And since he has no overload, we're going to apply protected to this guy since they seem to be targeting him. Yep, there you go. Boost damage. All right, hail of bullets and loaded shots. Do I can get a loaded shot off on uh, this guy? And then we'll do two and a bunch of damage to them. And I guess we'll do a one here. Very good, very good. All right, let's take this guy up with our main main cannon, and we're gonna do this. 
our overload down and reduced. And we can just kind of help this guy with with uh, our our onesies here. There we go. All right, and they should all level up. Excellent. And I got a radio system and capacitor and a beta polymorphic device. Cool. Let's get our equipment. And talents. Each time your robot levels up, you can allocate talent points to specialize them. Each robot has additional skills you can buy. Select an equipped skill to switch it. One of the other skills available. So got the talents here. You got a talent uh, circle and here's the things that we have here's all the abilities we have so far um, I would like to let's do intervention has, has a chance to do 50 or 100% chance to apply damage reflections to the launcher it's a 50 for the first level then 100% for, for the next level let's do that would be very good for him you can also reset your talents if you want if you had 200 points uh, and over here and actually let's who has you can use that blue thing so you can use it it's um give that to you as your gadget and you can use the radio system as well i don't think anybody else can right all right and that's a oh that's a gadget so what was this one nine ten two all right so this one i'll give to you and can't use anything else that's fine all right talents so i'm going to give you some hypersonic ammo ignores the enemy's enemy's resistance by additional 25 and then eventually 50 percent and do that i'm gonna have you be our sniper sniper mcgee in the back in the background there and you as far as your talents go Little protons, full mag, overload generated by neutronic ammo reduced by 2 or 5%. Uh, amplified discharge, electric shock also has a chance to apply stunned. Disperse the crowd, intimidation burst also has 15 to 30% chance to apply stalked. Energetic zeal also has a 50 to 100% chance to apply enhanced power. Um, damage reflection, galvanization. I think I want to. I want to use this one to get another thing that applies stuns. You know, I haven't used it yet. Use that ability yet. All right. And onwards. So the other thing to note too. Oh, this is the emergency exit here. What's our? Do we have another? Another map thing to look at first. We'll look at this other map thing here. Storage case, 75%. And it failed at 75% as well. Huh. Hack the computer for 55. Let's watch us succeed at that. Oh, alright. All well, threats already unveiled. Uh, yeah, so this is our exit. And we shall leave. You and your robots are safe here. Welcome to the secret rebel base, Saya. And here's where it gets kind of sort. Of, I don't want to call it XCOM because it's not really. You're not really building a base, but it's it's like a, here's where you can kind of get your upgrades together and see what your faction levels are and all that stuff. Because like I said, there are five different factions of robots there's the humanobots which we're going to encounter in a little bit they're the ones that look like humans uh supremachine uh cyber rights biothorium and the chip these are all different you know uh robot groups that are trying to uh they're vying for control of the robot mindset in order to you know get their rights as as beings um we have the equipment, we have the hangar here. In the hangar, you can go and look at the scrapyard and try to want to buy more um, robots to put on your team. I happen to know that we're going to get a fourth robot coming up, so I'm not going to buy anything here. 
Eventually the black market opens. Uh, I haven't gotten so far as to get the workshop or the arena open, but black market will open eventually. You can sell a whole lot of stuff to it uh, in your equipment uh, area. Uh, Sigma titanium handcuffs. That, uh, what is that? I'm in gadgets. You don't have any gadgets, so we'll give you that. This is beta polymorphic sensor is 25. That's a top. All right, let's, let's upgrade you a little bit. And brake tech rifle. It's not good as what we got. Brake tech cannon. Still not as good. How about you? What is your gun? Well, you got a 33 and a 4.4 on that one. This would actually reduce his turn order by 10. This is a 32 and a 5. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it might be worth it for the extra power that it gives me. So let's do that. Let's swap that out. And also we have a flexible bumper. Is that... It's purple, so I wonder if anybody else can... Nope. Okay, just this guy can do it. All right. That goes under the framework. That'll help us a little bit, too. Yeah, we're up to... Our speed is up to 100... Well, it's at 130. As opposed to 140. That's not bad. That's not bad. We still had a pretty high, high speed as it was. All right. Well, let's go and uh, take on the next mission. Uh, questions answered. Factory is... The uh, Soul Factory. The Sarah lady is waving at us. She's talking to an old man. Saya, let me introduce you to John Wint. He's the leader of Humanobots, a cosmopolitan faction who was peacefully resisting the rule of Chancellor Jackloff. Ja <laughs> Jackloff, not Jackoff. <laughs> yeesh. Yeesh. Uh, my dear Saya, rather than waste time talking, how about we visit a decommissioned Break Tech factory? The cozy accommodations should allow you to gauge the situation for yourself. Look what we got here. Good old John Wint trying to preach to a new audience. Hmm? Alt, have you considered the opportunity not to kill anyone on your way here? Your dreams of a quiet revolution have turned you into a sweet old man, Wint. Robots are dreaming of vengeance, and Saya would be a valuable ally for the Suprema, Suprema Machine. Supre, Suprema Machine. <laughs> I'm going with you. So, as you can probably guess, the Suprema Machine is the Nazi bots, <laughs> and the and the Humanobots are a little bit more uh, pacifist. Um, a factory that still oozes liquefied metal and molten thorium. This is where it all began for Break Tech on the workbenches, underneath the presses, inside the tanks. Robots, weapons, chips. This is where it all comes from. And one day we'll all come back, and when we return, we'll be we'll break the door down. Okay, just relax there a little bit, dude. And we'll go to the right. We'll go up. Can we open an 80% storage case? So far, we haven't had a whole lot of luck. Aha! That time we did. What did it give me? Electronic components. Workshop stuff. Okay. Hack. Nope. That uh, increased danger level by 25. Awesome. Um, okay. Access to the next door is locked. Well, that's interesting. Controller. Do we neutralize? Do we intimidate? Do we discuss? Um, let's uh, discuss. Success. And my reputation with the Humanobots went up by plus 20 because I decided to do a non violent thing. Alright, survival crate 75%. Jeez Louise, how many 75% things am I gonna am I gonna fail at? Alright, well we got the enemies affected by corrosion now. Unfortunately our success chance is lowered. We're at 40 danger level already. Crazy pants. Crazy pants, I say. Well, then we got some level two enemies. Break tech agents, let's show them what kind of alloy robots are made of. 
Oof. Oof. Okay. Now that's the way you want to play it, huh? All right, let's get a loaded shot in on... These are security agents, special agents. Fiber dollar rookie. Okay, let's do the special agent first. Because he hurts a lot. Yikes, they're all... One-track mind here, all targeting my one guy. Uh, electric, electric shot. Let circuit stun for one turn. Uh, let's do that to the robot dog. There we go. All right, he can't do much. I'm going to put uh, Protect it on this guy. Because they seem to be wanting to target him a whole lot. All right. Plasmic wave? Sure. And I guess we can do, try another, now, well, do the, the shot here, photons. That'll damage all of them. And then shockwave, deal 90 damage to enemy line, 25% chance to fly stunned. Well, we stunned the one guy. That guy's now dead from the corrosion. That's good. All right, load it shot on this one. Yeah, all right. Now we just gotta get this guy down for the count. And same with you. Do the number one shot on him. Excellent. Not sure why Jacklov's henchmen were hanging out in this factory, but never mind that. We should do our best to extinguish the flames of violence. All right, we got uh, Romionic Gel and Gamma Nos Kit. Let's uh, see if that... Gamanos kit does us any good. Uh, what is that? Just a common gadget. So it gives us 7, 15, and 32 on the crit, or 3.2 additional to the crit chance. Um, that might be good. Yeah, let's swap it out. Let's swap it out. This is also a gadget. Does anybody here not have a gadget? They all seem to have a gadget. Of some sort. What does gadget do? You can't even, you can't even hold those. Okay. Um, do we have a decent cannon here? Can't take that, but you can take it. It's not as good as the one you got. Okay. Alright, so be it. Great materials gather. Awesome. In the beginning, robots were designed to replace humans in factories, hospitals, and landfills. But then they started dreaming, thinking, and feeling. You've squeezed us out to the very last drop of oil, and your chancellor, this Steven Jackalov guy, now he wants to recondition us. We're not going to go down that easily. <laughs> Back it down a little bit, uh, <laughs> Decepticons. All right, next sector is unlocked. Cool. I guess that was that door there, but there's still one more. Oh, that's okay, that's where we have to go. Seems that this robot is not operational, but maybe you could upload yourself into it. Expand the list of your allies, Saya. You will need some to fight against Break Tech. Alright, activate this robot. This is not the same robot. I was expecting a different robot than this, and this is... Okay, so the robot you get is random, and it's repair. It's a repair bot. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Country of origin, Germany. We got a German repair bot. <laughs> Gonna be the most efficient repair bot you ever did see in your life. Uh, which way now? Up, down, left? Up, down, right, I mean. Up. Oh. Down was not the right way. The 30 defense turret damage. 
65% computer hack? Why not? Oh, and, and we succeeded. Have enemies discovered. And that is, they're also reduced by 50. Okay, so there's enemies there, but then we don't know about anything else up above. Let's go up here real fast. Look around. Up. Oh. Yeah, we got a lot of enemies here, but they're all surprised. Awesome. That will be useful. So what does this little bot, little bot do? Flies Thorio focused on an enemy. Damage taken increased by 35%. Generates shield of an ally by 174. Thorium marks. Applies Thorium mark to an ally line. Damage taken reduced by 15%. Ionizer shot deals 80 damage to an enemy. Okay. Oh, so this little repair bot actually can throw some bullets down range. That's, that's pretty good. All right, well, let's put... Um, who, who needs to get it first here? Techno Med Assistant. He's a medic. And these are just regular security agents. So let's take out the medic first. With this. Make him easier to take out, I should say. Alright, load it shots. Bam. One shot of that dude. Alright, and... Proton shot on this guy. The whole line up there, and we'll do shockwave against this whole line. Alright, well we stunned, we stunned the dog. That's good. Ooh, my repair bots. Not in the face, repair bot, not in the face. Uh, let's... There's a shield of an ally. Uh, let's do localization on this one. All right, and then yellow bullets. Why not? Our overload's getting pretty high there, though. Good, good, good. All right, and then I will... I could provoke them to... No, I have no... Uh, gonna, we're going to overload here if I do anything more. Let's just do a cannon shot. And we can take this guy up. There we go. All right, we're going to do just number ones on all these dudes. Nice, that we got we got a a uh, crit on that guy. Very good. Oh, did my guy overload? I guess he overloaded when they put stalked on him, huh? Uh, can I? Yeah, we'll just shoot this guy. Not that difficult. Well, there we go. All right, little bezel, ionizer, and some shoulder plates. Look at our equipment, make sure we're all decked out here. I'm playing on uh, normal mode, by the way, so it's, well, the middle mode. It's not normal, it's called something else. Uh, so, you know, I'm not, it's not me just purposely playing on easy and not disclosing it. Um, let's see, Ionizer 2.0, you say. Also, you have a talent point I should spend. Process acceleration, plasma halo, can't supply a random bonus. Localization also has a 50 to 100% chance to apply reduced heals. Ooh. Yes, please. Yes, please. I see myself using that a lot. You can take the ionizer. Is there anybody else who can take the ionizer? Is that only for you? That's only for you. So you can have that. Um, which I think is... Yeah, it's better than what you had. Cool. Uh, digital bezel is only at the workshop. So you can't actually equip anything else. Uh, and you are good, I think. 58, 72, 25, hut hut. Uh, Epsilon shoulder plates. Those are just just for you. And this uh, these paws look better than what you've got. Oh, slightly better. Or five. Um, I kind of like the ones that give a little bit more defense because he tends to 
attract a lot of attention, so I'm just going to leave that. And here's all the all the effects that are currently on us. So you can see how many are stacked up as you're as you're moving through the world. Um, the turns. That's the interesting thing here is that the effects continue on to you on to the next uh, battle as well. You, they have to they have to play out their their turns. I don't think they carry from one map to the next, but they do carry from one battle on the map to the next. So. There we go. And let's see what's in this room. Green materials. Awesome. All it took was a simple revolt to set things off. When the robots took to the streets to demand their rights, Chancellor Jackalov ordered the purge, an unprecedented wave of repression that... Stop! Jackalov and Breaktech have joined forces to create us. Now they want to destroy us. That target on your back is part of your design, Saya. Either them or us. <laughs> hey. Okay, dude. Relax a little bit. And EMP device. We got uh, plus 25%, plus 25 on all our overload counters. We format the digital tablets. Give us some experience. Awesome. Mark, please pass the Thorium Cauldron. Mr. Jackaloff will be proud of our handiwork. These break tech engineers are reconditioning a robot. Keep your cool and let them leave. But beware, Saya. Violence draws attention to us, and the last thing we need is more surveillance. One day you will understand that violence may serve to tear down, and violence may also serve to build. It's, it's bedrock. Violence will wrest our rights from the claws of break tech and Jackaloff. We can't let them win. Have mercy, we were just doing our job. Uh, we'll spare them. Thank you for giving human wisdom a chance to recognize you, Saya. The movement will be united for it, or won't be at all, with revolt as its source and serenity as its means of action. Two species, one world. You have no idea how the world works. You choose, you chose the wrong allies. You chose the way of weakness. Supreme machine, the prayer machine can do without you. Did everything work out as planned? I understand that you had a difficult choice to make. Those, these internal wars between rebel factions shouldn't even exist. Now it's the time for unity. Okay. We got some uh, rewards and, and things for that. And then uh, now we have, I believe, a choice of... Yep, we can go... It's game starting to open up now. You can go rescue, uh, rescue mission, or we can uh, uh, answer someone who's calling us out uh, and stuff. Got the cyborgs. You can see our reputation with the Humanobots is up by 120 because I got 20 additional for that one thing. And we got our equipment here. It's telling me that there's new equipment. Or actually, uh, it's telling me that everybody's, a couple of people have leveled up. We can uh, increase their their talents. And um, we still have the hangar. See, I was expecting one of these ladies to come on because that was what happened last time. So I didn't realize it was a uh, um, a random choice. Uh, but now in here is where we can repair all of our bots. You can see he's back up to 100% there. And uh, all that cost uh, these credits or whatever whatever they are. We've got 532 of them. Uh, that comes into effect also with the black market where we can buy some stuff if we want to or go sell off a bunch of stuff that we're not using, which is probably what I will do. Because um, a lot of this stuff is not useful, but wouldn't do that until I actually look at what uh, what is needed to be equipped and all those things, because I'm sure some of these are probably halfway decent. Um, but that said, I'm going to leave it here, because uh, I think you get a good idea of what this is all about, uh, even from this. I don't want to spoil too much of the story, and uh, so far I'm, I'm really interested in, in what they're, where they're going with this. Uh, I would have liked to see the workshop. I, I, I'm guessing it's pretty straightforward. It's just... Throw some crafting materials in and make some stuff. Uh, the arena, I'm not sure about either. Um, I, I I believe the arena is the online multiplayer, um, which you could do here. Everything else is a is the single player campaign. Um, and I think yeah, I think the arena is online multiplayer. I'm not sure how the rewards work with that. If it's just a you know bragging rights thing, or if you can. Pull, you know, 
new equipment and stuff from it. I'm not sure exactly how any of that works. Um, but I think, again, I think you get the general gist of what's going on here. I don't want to drag this out for an hour like I tend to do on some of these things. But in any case, in any case, this, my friends, has been Robothorium. It is by Goblins Studio and published by Goblin Studio and Whisper Games. It is currently on available on Steam Early Access for 10% off at $13.49 US, normally $14.99. You could also buy the soundtrack off of Steam for $9.99. Uh, also, bear in mind that I received a copy of this game for free from the developer. So always uh, keep that in mind as you're doing your own due diligence. As always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do said due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.